Alright, so this video is about the recent attack in Manchester, England, um, where a nail bomb was set off uh, during an Ariana Grande concert. Now, I don't normally talk politics or sort of news like that on this channel. One is not what the channel is about, and two, um, I don't really feel that I have a place to talk about it. Um, politics is for those who have studied it and who are interested in it. Um, and generally speaking, I don't try to be interested too much in politics, apart from when obviously. Uh, the important stuff happened and but but this is one of those few occasions where I feel like really something needs to be said um, for those of you who have not heard obviously there was um, a, a nail bomb attack uh, a couple of days ago in uh, in Manchester which is a city in north of England for the you know for the Americans out there who maybe not know the geography of England and um, it's it was a horrendous um, hurting anyone in the name of terror, it, 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 it's wrong. For full stop. It, it's just wrong. But when you involving what are you know from the majority children and mothers, that that is just disgraceful. It's a, it's a completely unforgivable act. And uh, the man who did it and those who helped him perform it by training him on how to make a bomb and all the rest of it. Uh, I hope they go straight to fucking hell, and I hope they burn for a very, very long time and suffer, you know, because of what they deserve. Um, you know, often you'll hear people say terrorists are freedom fighters. What the fuck? This guy didn't... What freedom is he fighting for? He was from Manchester. He was born in England. You know, British-born, whatever, you know, Muslim and all the rest of it. And, you know, he went to Syria, obviously, to to uh, to train for a short period of time before the attack and he was he had a twisted mind but what, what freedom is he fighting for he lives in england it's a free country we have a lot of rights a lot of civil liberties and uh, civil liberties and and, and 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 that 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 the english people over the last few centuries have fought and and suffered to have and he's so literally what is his personal motivation to do this other than simply to hurt someone you know in contrast for example to the the, the previous uh, terrorism attacks on, on England were obviously the sort of IRA for a, for a little while they they were doing it obviously there were you know, a multitude of reasons if you look into it but ultimately for the freedom of well, freedom so to speak of, of, of Northern Ireland regaining some of the territories that England control instead of Ireland you know um, but you know it's a whole separate topic but you, at least you could they, they seemed human they, they were doing horrible acts they were hurting people um, although they typically did target governmental buildings and stuff but innocents did obviously get hurt as well um, at least they seemed human though because they had a, a, an understandable motive behind what they were doing the guys who, who were performing these um, let's say as it is Islamic based terrorist attacks are that they, they, they have no motivation that I, I would deem you know noteworthy at the end of the day they don't have a real motivation to do what they're doing they so they don't seem human they seem like what they are in my opinion evil they are evil incarnate um and you know it to this this particular attack highlights just how evil these people are because it's an Ariana Grande concert. It doesn't take a fucking genius to work out that at that kind of music concert, there's going to be a, a large proportion of children, young young children, and obviously too young to be there by themselves. Who's going to take them? Their parents, the fathers, the mothers, or the aunties, or whatever. They're all going to be there, and so this attack has literally wiped out the entire families in, in many respects and there was one particular case which absolutely breaks my heart if anyone hasn't heard of it already i mean it's absolutely tear-jerking in many respects there were one of the they haven't confirmed all the people who have been killed in the attack yet but the first one of the first confirmed deaths was an eight-year-old girl that alone is horrendous right an eight-year-old girl who's just going there because she likes to sing along to, you know, um, Ariana Grande music. You know, typical eight-year-old girl just enjoying her childhood. You know, uh, an innocent, literally in the truest form of word. I could I'll describe anyone who's killed in an act of terror, in innocence, to be you know an innocent. But she really is truly a pure innocent. 
But her mother was also there in the concert, and her mother's in a coma, or at least she was last time I heard. Um, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't woken up yet. She's in a coma because she was injured in the uh, explosion also. And so think about how heart-wrenching, how gutted that woman is going to be if if she ever wakes up from a coma, or you know when she wakes up from a coma, to find out then that her daughter is dead, that she was in a coma when her daughter had to... Uh, have a funeral that she, she she won't be able to say a proper goodbyes and it's it, I mean what in many respects she it's probably better if she doesn't make up in many respects but then think about her husband you know uh, their father you know the grandfather and, and the grandmother of the, of the kid and, and, and that involved it, it, it is such a destructive thing that has happened and then of course it's not the only attack that's happened recently but uh, Parliament um, which is where our uh, uh, Prime Minister and, and all the other uh, Ministers of Parliament uh, meet. Uh, that was recently attacked uh, within just a matter of weeks ago um, by a guy who was in a van, just drove over a load of pedestrians up, go into it and stabbed the policeman who was guarding the, the front entrance of Parliament before he was shot dead. You know, things like this. And, you know, and then obviously you've got the horrific attacks in France and, and all over the place all over the place, right back to really to, to 9-11 over in America, which was, you know, I remember that. I remember exactly what I was doing when I heard on the news that America had been attacked. And I remember seeing that the, this, I, I missed the first plane going in, although obviously I saw the flames, but I was downstairs and I saw live on telly the second plane being flown into the, the, the two towers, you know, and the, the trade centers. And, and that, that memory was so disturbing as I sort of, I don't know what I was, I was like a 12 year old lad, something like that at the time. It, it was, it, it's set in my memory. And and that's America, you know, and this is obviously even, even closer to home. I mean, I've been to Manchester myself a few times. It's a nice city, you know, and it's, it's just so disturbing what they've done. Um, and it really needs to be stopped. Regards what to be done. How to stop it, uh, that's not for me to say. I have no idea. I'm not a politician. I'm not a leader of the world. I'm just a normal Joe Gunn. Um, and, and, but what I would say is, yeah, and this is my one little rant over, over this because I want the focus to be on the victims and I want, for those who, I mean, I don't believe in God myself. I'll be straight over and honest about that. But for those who do believe in a God, I want, you know, I hope your prayers are with those victims and the victims' families, you know. Um, I'm certainly thinking about them in my own personal way and, you know, if I could help, I would. Um, but uh, what I would say is it's a shame our Prime Minister, who luckily we're, we're undergoing an election soon to to possibly replace our current prime minister an out of schedule election that was called um i hope whoever takes the power has the balls to do something about it you know stop fannying about let's do something don't fucking give us your fucking apologies oh it's horrific like i'm doing at the moment and all the rest of it because unlike me you're in a position to do something about this um, to minimise it at the very least, and uh, if not completely stop this from happening. You are in position, that's why you've been voted, to protect ultimately as well as lead the people of this nation and, and also the other nations of the world, you know, to contribute to world peace in, in, in many respects. That's why you're in power, so fucking use that fucking power, you know. To quote Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility, I, I know, you know, it's true though. Do fucking something about it now, we're all getting sick of the people in power uh, patronising us with their so-called empty, hollow apologies and, and heartfelt, you know, you know, and all I say, yeah, okay, I'm sure you don't feel good about it because, I, like, because you are a human being, but don't just give us your words, give us your actions, you know, and one thing I will say is fair play to America, if there's any Americans watching this, I know I do get a reasonable number of American viewers, I want to, you know, salute you, so to speak, you know, after the attack in Manchester, the US made 27 airstrikes against ISIS. Um, I think between Afghanistan and uh, Iraq, I think it was. Um, and but you know, 
but me, thank you guys. You did something. I, I, I know. I don't. I can't comment on how Trump is running your country and that because obviously I don't live there and I don't know how your politics exactly influence your every day to day life and everything. He was voted in at the end of the day. You might not be a supporter of his or not, but I can tell you as an Englishman who has just had um, a proportion of his people and his land attacked. At least your prime minister has done some. Uh, sorry, your president has done something to help us. He's he's taken to some extent uh, an exact of revenge upon them. Um, whereas our prime minister, our own leader, where's your fucking balls? Why weren't you doing that? For fuck's sake, you know? Why are we relying on America to do it? We've got the capacity to do it as well. We've got well-trained armies. We've got lots of munitions. And let's retaliate, but also not just attack the outside. But possibly, well, you know, that's the best thing. If you remove ISIS, you remove the way that they're trained and stuff, then hopefully it will stop it. If not, then obviously you're looking towards the internal elements of your country. But as I say, I'm not a politician. It's not for me to comment on how it's to be done. But it's nice to see that at least America was doing something. It'd be nice to see our own uh, politicians do something as well. It's a blinding shame. But anyway, guys, enough of that side of things. I just want you guys just to perhaps take a moment... There was a minute of silence today in England regards the the victims who who have suffered. And, you know, you see it all over on Facebook. People sharing, oh, if you see my daughter, or if you see my mother, or you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's horrendous, you know. You see people on Facebook who you sort of, you know, are linked through and all the rest of it begging, you know, can we got any more information? I don't know if they're alive, they're dead, they're in a coma, they're injured, whatever. You know, it's it's horrendous, and if if you haven't already, if you just take some time just to think about the people who've suffered, yeah, yeah, you know, it's the, it's the least we can do. It's the least we can do. Sorry, guys, about the seriousness of this video, but it had to be done. I'll see you soon.